Zenvo TSRS The Zenvo TSRS is a near full-blown race car made for the streets. It's a cross between the TS1 GT and its pure racetrack sibling, the TSR. A heart-stopping 1,177 base horsepower comes from a 5.8-liter V8 racing engine with twin centrifugal superchargers and sequential fuel injection. Putting the power to the ground is a paddle-shifted 7-speed transmission. The TSRS centripetal wing concept is able to maintain the high downforce and generate a large inward directed force with its active aerodynamics, and it needs it as the car can reach a top speed of 325 kilometers an hour, that's 202 miles per hour, and reaches 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 0 to 60, in just 2.8 seconds. The wing turns on its own depending on which way the steering wheel is turned. This car is more than likely capable of much more power, but has an electronic limiter. Audi Icon This new Audi concept car is an all-electric car which has bleeding-edge technology that has a full Level 5 autonomy. That means it's a driverless car that has no steering wheel, no pedals, and no buttons to push. There is just a dash and interior seating. The car uses lasers and radar to see where it's going and therefore doesn't have long-distance headlights. Audi boasts that this car demonstrates the world of tomorrow. The Dash is a high-tech computer-controlled system that can take voice commands performing different tasks, taking driving directions, and putting the interior into relaxation mode, in which the car automatically tints its windows for privacy and plays your favorite music. Passengers can control the icon using the sleek touch-controlled rail that wraps around the front of the cabin. Audi promises haptic feedback as well as voice and facial recognition. Simply relax and the car takes you where you want to go. The car is fitted with an electric motor on each wheel. It uses solid batteries instead of lithium-ion which provide more power. Total power is 260 kilowatts and 500 nanometers which equals around 348 horsepower, 405 pound-feet of torque. Icona Nucleus Described as the ultimate self-driving living room, the Icona Nucleus is a fully level 5 autonomous concept car which means that the car needs zero human interaction for its mechanical operation. It only needs the directions to where the passenger wishes to go. The mono-volume exterior, which it is called, is asymmetrical, as the car only has one door for entry. Like a protective bubble, the Nucleus protects and embraces its passengers, at the same time offering a stunning view to the outside, thanks to an extremely wide glass surface, which constitutes the majority of the upper body. The concept stretches out far enough to allow six people to comfortably travel. Power is estimated at an unbelievable 600 base horsepower coming from the in-wheel electric motors. Many people don't like the idea of a self-driving car and would say it defeats the whole idea of owning an automobile. But this car could drop you off at the airport and then pick up the children from school. Mustang Shelby GT500 For those who want to actually drive their car, have no fear. Just because everyone else is going autonomous, Ford is keeping it real with the all-new Mustang Shelby GT500, which is twice as more powerful as the original 1967 Mustang performance model with a rumored 772 base horsepower. The car will also include a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission to put all that power to the ground. However, it's also rumored that the car will have an automatic 10-speed transmission, which is developed with General Motors, who have said that the transmission is much quicker than the best dual-clutch transmission. No one is sure what the power plan is yet, but it could be a turbocharged version of the 5.2-liter V8, which comes in the Shelby GT350 models. Ford teased everyone in January when they released the teaser video, and then once again with a black shadowy image of the front of the car, which gives it an incredibly aggressive look. The new model will fill the void left by the previous generation's Shelby GT500 and could go by the same name, though we've also heard a revival of the Mach 1 name is possible. McLaren Senna Most car buffs and aficionados will instantly recognize the Senna name that McLaren has given to their latest supercar offering. For those who are not familiar, the car is named after the legendary Formula 1 driver Ayrton Senna and is called the Ultimate McLaren Track Car. This extreme supercar has an aggressive appearance and is a mid-engined, rear-wheel drive car. The car sports McLaren's Race Active Chassis Control 2, or RCC2, and offers a variety of handling modes including comfort, sport, track, and race. The car has active front and rear aerodynamics, giving the car up to 800 kilograms of downforce. 
The cockpit of the car has only the instrumentation you need and includes ultralight one-piece carbon fiber racing seats. The McLaren Senna with its carbon fiber frame is one of the lightest road cars that McLaren has ever built since the F1 and weighs just 1,198 kilograms without fuel. It's powered by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that McLaren says is the most powerful road car internal combustion engine ever. The M840TR engine produces 789 base horsepower and 590 foot-pounds of torque at the top of its power bank. That's a lot for a car that weighs only 2,700 pounds. With that kind of power-to-weight ratio, you get savage performance with 0 to 200 kilometers per hour in just 6.8 seconds and 0 to 60 achieved in a ridiculous 2.8 seconds. The cost of the car is around $1 million, and only 500 of these cars will be made for the production year. Pinid Farina HKGT Electric Supercar A lot of purists scoff at the idea of cars going electric, while many others embrace the idea. The Pinid Farina HKGT is a prime example of modern technology. The HKGT is powered by batteries and comes equipped with a range extender and an electrical controller. In true GT fashion, the roof slopes down towards the rear, leading to a sharpened rear end. In a simple approach to the Tech Rules Ren RS, the HKGT uses a turbine as a range extender to provide its equivalent to 792 bhp. It's able to run on a variety of fuels such as petrol, diesel, and hydrogen. With that kind of power, you can expect 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, 155 miles per hour flat out, 60 miles on battery power alone, and around 600 miles using the range extender. Renault Easy Go Not every car that showed up at the Geneva Motor Show was a supercar, and this entry is a little bit different, but is a cool concept all around. Renault showed up with the Easy Go which is actually a robot taxi. This design is being called a socially responsible concept car. The Easy Go is deliberately designed to be as distant as possible from the current trends in automotive design, which isn't that hard to see. With huge glass panels on all sides, this car maintains an outdoor feel even when it's filled up with people and luggage. It's an all-electric, level 4 autonomous vehicle that actually won't be for sale to the public. You might, however, see this car all over as it's rolled out as a taxi. Renault would either use the car itself as a taxi service or sell the car to taxi companies, although the latter isn't a positive thing yet. Renault suggests the cost of a ride in one would be slightly dearer than a bus ticket, but still cheaper than an Uber or Lyft ride. Hyundai Le Fier Rouge This sporty and sleek looking concept car is a Hyundai, is low and wide, and comes with an enormous grille at the front end with electronic LED lighting that alerts other cars and pedestrians of its presence. Right now, there is no word on the powertrain as the car is an exercise in beauty and luxury for the time being. The sleek-looking car has oversized sports wheels and tires and other features including an aviation-inspired two-way air conditioning system and trims made from revitalized wood and high-tech fabrics. Infotainment is handled by a panoramic design with haptic feedback in front of the driver, providing access to all the controls while rear passengers also get each a touchscreen of their own. The inside cabin is dressed up with a combination of wood and modern fabrics, while a floating center console stretches from the front all the way to the rear. Le Fier Rouge is a reinterpretation of Hyundai's design DNA that originated from the brand's historical Hyundai Coupe concept in 1974. But this model is a far better evolution of the original. BMW M8 Grand Coupe the twin traits of classic racing design and high-class luxury are what the BMW M8 Grand Coupe concept is all about. According to BMW, they now say that the M stands for more, and with the M8 Grand Coupe, that is what you get. The M8 treatment adds M-typical elements such as large wheels, massive air intakes, widened fenders, a carbon fiber roof, a prominent spoiler, and four beefy exhaust pipes, which are connected to a twin-turbo V8 that will make at least 600 horsepower and 553 foot-pounds of torque, which is channeled to all four wheels through a rear-based all-wheel drive system. The unique 21-inch m light alloy wheels make an unshakable impression. The star-shaped double spokes feature a two-tone gold and black finish, which really matches the green color on the concept car. And it'll look pretty much exactly like this, a concept. 
though probably with slightly more toned down bumpers and some door handles. Lagonda Vision Concept The Lagonda Vision Concept by Aston Martin is huge, with a thoroughly exaggerated rear end and huge and sweeping curves that span the entire length of the car. The car has level 4 autonomy, which is to say it'll drive itself under most conditions. But if you decide to take the wheel, you can, giving you the best of both worlds. The steering wheel can not only move from left to right hand drive according to need, in autonomous mode it can also retract entirely, allowing front seat passengers to rotate through 180 degrees to engage in face-to-face -face conversations with those in the back. The inside of the car is roomy with plenty of space for passengers to get in and out of the car thanks to the fully open door design. The Vision concept uses a pack of solid state batteries for power built into the floor pan. There's a claim of around 400 miles worth of real-world driving range, and wireless charging zaps the batteries to full in just 15 minutes. But you will have to wait around for this one, as production isn't slated until 2021.